Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. From a breed that has a Chinese sounding but very British name, to the breed that is considered to be the oldest in the world. Here are the 10 most ancient dog breeds on earth. Let's go. Number 10, the Chow Chow. Despite having a British name, the Chow Chow can trace its origins back to ancient China and Mongolia. At one time, their meat was considered a delicacy and their thick, fluffy fur was used for coats. But their primary use was for guarding and protecting ancient Chinese temples, and it's believed that they started doing that job between 150 to 200 BC. In its home country, Chow Chows are called Songshi Quan, which means puffy lion dog. It is known for its blue tongue and lips, a trait unique only to them. And being primarily bred to guard and protect, Chow Chows have reputation of being aggressive to people. They are also very quick tempered and aren't really great with kids. Early and frequent socialization will tone down the Chow Chow's aggressive tendencies though, and can make good pets. Elvis Presley had one, and if it's good enough for the king, it's good enough for me. Number 9. The Sharpei. Another breed hailing from ancient China, the Sharpei is a breed that was thought to have been developed in 206 BC during the Han Dynasty, due to the fact that the clay figurines and the dog's likeness have been dated back to that time. And there's no mistaking those statuettes for other dog breeds. With its easily recognizable skin folds and wrinkles, the Sharpei has a very distinct look. Although they look like lazy lumps of skin, they stood out because of their excellent hunting and herding skills. In ancient China, the Sharpei was to believe to have been a faithful companion to farmers who protected their land and livestock from predators and other threats. These days, however, they are perfect companions for single people or families with older children. Their independent nature means that they really don't want to be bothered most of the time. Hence, they're not really good with kids. Number 8. The Akita Inu. Originally a hunting dog from Japan, the Akita is perfectly built for running down game in snow and rugged terrain in the mountains of Japan. They were named after the Akita Prefecture in northern Japan. It is definitely an ancient dog breed that we know, but exactly how old is somewhat cloudy. Recent archaeological discoveries suggest that a dog called the Matagi Inu, which is believed to be the Akita's ancestor, existed between 8000 BC and 200 BC. Now, that's a huge time frame, which makes me uncomfortable placing the Akita any higher on this list. Although not really bred for it, they make excellent guard dogs as well as often assert their dominance on strangers and even other dogs. Here's a fun fact for you. Two Akitas were given to Helen Keller back in 1937, making them the first of the breed to arrive in U.S. soil. They also gave rise to the American Akita, which is now recognized as a distinct breed. Number 7. The Shiba Inu. The Shiba Inu only made it to Americas six or so odd years ago, but it's definitely an ancient breed which, like the Akita Inu, hails from Japan. Although the exact date on when the breed started is unknown, many experts believe that they are even older as a breed than the Akita. That's why it's ranked a bit higher on this list. Their adorable appearance makes them quite popular for pets these days, but they were probably originally bred for hunting like most ancient breeds. They have a lot of energy like most hunting dogs, but it is relatively lower compared to others of the ilk. Number 6. The Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute isn't only the largest breed of sled dog, they are also the oldest. They were bred by the Malamute tribe somewhere between 2000 and 3000 years ago. They are also named after the tribe. They were bred to be big and incredibly strong and were used by the Malamute tribe primarily to hunt big game and pull heavy sleds loaded with gear and meat. They are so good at what they were bred to do that they still do it to this day. Not so much hunting though, but rather for traveling, hauling freight, moving large objects, or for recreational sledding and mushing. They still retain their love for hunting though, but have somewhat downgraded to smaller animals, such as rabbits, squirrels, and cats. Alaskan Malamutes also have a very friendly, kind nature, 
and love to be around people, which makes them excellent pets for families, even those with young kids. Number 5. The Pekingese Originally bred as companion dogs to the ancient Chinese imperial family, Pekingese have historically been revered as sacred in China. According to an ancient Chinese legend, they were originally lions shrunk to miniature size by the Buddha. Only the imperial family were allowed to own one and no one else. They remained unknown to the Western world until the 1860s when the British brought them back from China to England. To this day, they are known for their lion-like qualities of dignity and strong-mindedness. To the ancient breeding of these canines as royal sacred animals led to having them a similar snobbish attitude. They don't seem to like anything, kids, strangers, or other pets. They are also extremely stubborn and hard to train. Owners of this breed will actually tell you, you don't own a Pekingese, it owns you. Number 4. The Afghan Hound An ancient member of the Sighthound family, the Afghan Hound was first bred thousands of years ago by nomadic people of Afghanistan, Pakistan, and northern India. Again, it's quite hard to pinpoint the breed's exact origin, but its history can be tracked down to at least 8,000 years ago. An extremely skilled hunter, the Afghan was used to bring down both large and small game, including antelopes and perhaps even leopards. Although many present-day experts doubt that leopards were the Afghan's traditional prey, eyewitness accounts tell of the lone Afghans killing leopards by seizing them by the neck and severing the leopard's spine in their jaws. It was first brought to England in the 1800s and was one of the earliest to be exhibited in dog shows by the UK's Kennel Club. They became popular as pets and show dogs starting in the 1970s, and it's still pretty easy to understand why. It's widely regarded as one of the most beautiful dogs with their flowing coats and curly tails. They even require daily hair brushing because their long silky coats become tangled very easily. Number 3. The Chinese Saluki Recent discoveries have made experts consider the Saluki to be in the top three most ancient dog breeds. Through DNA analysis, Salukis are one of 14 breeds shown to be the least divergent from wolves. There are also records which date this breed back to 329 BC in Egypt and as far back as 685 BC in China. Their unmistakable slim profile makes them appear delicate and fragile, but quite contrary, they are actually very strong and have seemingly endless endurance. They are sight hounds and were bred for their speed, strength, and endurance. Modern Salukis still retain many of these characteristics and have been shown to chase down squirrels, goats, otters, foxes, raccoons, snakes, and deer. And during the chase, these slender dogs have been known to reach speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is a breed that has always been known to be large, aggressive, and extremely dangerous. But not a lot of people know that they're also one of the most ancient dog breeds that exist today. Number 2. The Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is thought to be the progenitor of all Mastiff breeds. That just means that if the dog is a Mastiff, it will have Tibetan Mastiff as a part of its lineage. Recent studies have shown that this breed is branched out from the Grey Wolf around 58,000 years ago. Now that's old. They are also the only dog breed that can predominantly live in altitudes of 4,000 meters. This is because, like the Tibetan people, they have the physical adaptations that make them able to do so, such as having less hemoglobin in their blood helps them avoid the clots and strokes that can arise when the body produces additional red blood cells in an effort to acquire more oxygen at a higher altitude. This massive dog made its way to America from Tibet, where it was originally used to protect sheep from predators like wolves, leopards, and bears. Yeah, you heard me right. These 150 pound bad boys are strong enough to be a bear deterrent. While his protective nature is often a good thing, the Tibetan Mastiff is not the best choice for a novice dog owner. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. 
you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Basenji The Basenji is considered by many experts to be the oldest dog in the world. This is according to a scientific study which compared genomic analysis of 161 current dog breeds. This breed is so old, it doesn't even bark, but rather produces a high-pitched howl that kind of sounds like a cross between a laugh and a yodel. In any case, if the Basenji makes a sound, you'll definitely know that it's a Basenji. It is estimated these origins begin on the African continent, where they were used for hunting and tracking prey. While the age of the Basenji is unknown, it is documented that they are given as a present to the pharaoh in ancient Egypt. Their images were also portrayed in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. Curious and highly energetic, Basenjis require a lot of exercise as an inactive Basenji can and will often be destructive. They are highly active dogs that like to climb and have no problem getting over a chain wire fence. Have you ever owned any of these ancient dog breeds? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to give yourself that free good luck by hitting the like button. Thank you so much for watching today's video. My name's Donovan. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you next time.